A comet that was discovered in January is finally expected to be visible with binoculars or a telescope. Storm Team 2 meteorologist Carly Smith shares when you can try to see it new on 5 on 2. You know, after, even after all these years, I see something new almost every night. The vice president of the Miami Valley Astronomical Society, John Graham, says Comet Leonard is now reaching its closest approach to the Earth. Yeah, it was discovered last January, so we've been waiting all year for it. <laughs> and so have you seen it? I have, I have photographed it, and I've seen it several times with my cameras. I have not seen it visually yet through my telescope, and, I, and I'm not certain I will. If you're hoping to catch Comet Leonard the next three mornings, well, the conditions won't be too great. There is a chance we see clouds nearly every morning, but if you are trying to find it, look east just before sunrise, and it's going to be very, very close to that horizon. This is its one and only trip past the sun. It will never come back. So this is the one and only chance anybody is ever going to have a chance to see this comet. It will be closest to the Earth on December 12th. Friday and Saturday is probably about our last chance to see it in the morning sky. It's then going to disappear into the glare of the sun for a few days and then reappear in the evening sky starting on about the 14th. On that same day, but in the morning, Gemini meteors will peak. Hit the atmosphere incredibly fast, 80,000 miles an hour. Uh, and since they're dense, they leave a very fast, bright trail. Right now the forecast looks great. We should have really good viewing conditions. Uh, after 2 a.m. is going to be your best bet because the moon's going to set and it's going to be about 80%, so that will be bright in the night sky. You're going to want to look west right before sunrise. Uh, about two hours is what NASA suggests, but anytime after 2 a.m. will be great. You could see 30 to 40 meteors. For Storm Team 2, I'm meteorologist Carly Smith.